Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have done the letter if I'd have known. Oh, it's okay. I've had a great night today. Could have been a Mrs. Santa stripper, though. Oh, no, I had one booked and everything, but... Oh, I'm the worst best man ever. Means a lot, you know. You let him in, even if it is just for tonight. We're a family, aren't we? Mm. Well, I've not felt that way since... since Dad. Come here. I've got the best hand right, have I? Yeah. There's a bit in here uh, where you mentioned Dad. Dad reckons you're a bad influence on me. I forgot you didn't like Katie at first. Rick OK? Yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a bit drunk. Something like that. I was always looking out for you. Are you? What? By sending me away, you mean? After Max? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. He kept you safe. Yeah, and coincidentally far, far away from him. And from my home. Is that what this is about? You resenting me and Dad? No, no, of course not. It's all in the past, he's dead. But you know what? I bet he'd have loved to have been here on your big day. Eh? Seeing his little tearaway adopted son getting everything he wanted. The girl, the farm. But he'd have been proud of you and all. Just don't. All right. Don't patronise me. <laughs> I wasn't. I don't need your fake brotherly concern, all right? You're as bad as him. You know what the best part about being back here is? He's not around anymore. I'll tell you what, you can forget it. Do you think he'll feel like we've got a boss? Yeah, but we're gonna need the investment from somewhere. Now, if not Robert, then the bank. Yeah, I know, I just... What? Is it him? Come on, mate, I know we don't know him that well. We know him well enough to know he's bad news. You've only got to ask Andy. Which is why we're gonna talk it out first. All right, make sure it's all legit. Well, come on, Aaron, you've got to admit, it would be stupid to turn this down flat. It's a bit late to ask for his blessing. Just leave me alone, yeah? Or are you just apologising again? Sorry I burnt Mum to death. I'm serious, Robert. You've had a drink and I'm not in the mood. No. You just prefer to talk to the dead. Anyway, I reckon you got your priorities wrong. If I were you, I'd worry about what Katie's doing on her last night of freedom. I bet she had a stripper. I bet she loved it. I get it. Just want me to wait, you don't you? So you've got a black eye on my wedding day. Make out like we're still rivals for Katie. Well, guess what? I don't need to. I've already won. Oh, yeah? You sure about that, are you? Because you were sure about Katie on your last wedding, weren't you? And it was about this time she was in bed with me. Not that it just happened in the bed. It was in the shower, up against the wall. I bet you regret saying you're not going to punch me now, eh? How did I said that? I just said I won't give you a black eye. Come on, Andy! Hey! Andy! Hey, there's the best you can do! Come on! Get off me! Robbie, get off him! Andy, please, he's just winding you up! He's the one who hit me! He's still a psycho! It's all you can do! Hey, you haven't got your life on your own, so you've got to ruin mine! Oh, no, you do that well enough on your own. How long do you reckon this one's going to last, Vic? We just show up and go away! Yeah, you heard her! And stay away tomorrow. If I see you anywhere near the wedding... You what? What are you going to do? Are you going to hit me again? You think that's going to stop me, Andy? I'll go where I want! So, Merry Christmas, bro. Sleep well.